This is the NFL, and we are live from beautiful State of America Stadium in Chuckage, South Carolina. The Carolina Panthers are warming up their last week's kill on their sidelines barbecue pits as part of their pregame ritual. My pregame ritual is a lot different, Grim. It usually involves filling out accident reports and telling the paramedics what I may have ingested in the last 24 hours that could have caused projectile vomiting and projectile diarrhea while falling down the staircase or an elevator shaft, depending on the stadium. That's it. Both teams hit the field ready to hit each other in this MFL matchup. The Terror Bay Mutineers. The Carolina Panzers. Welcome to MFL Game Day. Grim Blitzrow here. Let's listen in on the sidelines and hear what the team's captains have to say. Hey man, nobody can touch you when I ball. I take all you mutants out. That's right. Hey, what you talking about, pal? Hope you got your mutant tailgate buzz on. I know I did. The teams are revving up on the sidelines, and we are ready for some mutant football. Grim Blitzer along with Bricks and Bricks Jr. Yeah, Grim, I had a little eye open at myself at the mutant bloodmobile park next to the taco truck outside. Called a lobotomy shot. Raccoon rabies blood and red bull crap. Hoo-hoo. Yeah, I can tell your mouth looks like a hot shaving cream dispenser. And it's first and ten. Hot. Hot one. Hot two. <laughs> I've seen this guy drop a lot of balls in the past, but I heard the quarterback threaten to throw him a real bomb if he dropped one again. You know, good communication is important. Second down and long. Maybe the QB should throw it and catch it too. Third down, and the punter is warming up. One, hot two, hot three. And he reels that one in for a first down to keep the drive alive. And it's first and ten. Hot, hot one, hot two, hot, hot three. Quarterback calls a Sonic Blast dirty trick and oh, big catch, big run, big touchdown. Yeah, big deal. Mr. Big for Brains ran with a ball and didn't fall down. See that boom, baby? I'm the greatest. No, you didn't see that because I'm too fast. <laughs> Second down and a lot. And that is a big gain. You know the defense wants some payback after that. Third down and six. Well, here comes the punting unit. 
You know, punters really do know how to party, Bricks. Yeah? Oh, yeah, I have pictures that, uh, do, well, maybe actually shouldn't discuss this on here. And he's got a chance for a good return here. If there were any functioning brain cells before that hit, they're gone now. He's going to have the IQ of a rutabaga after that hit. And it's first and ten. Hot, hot one, hot. When the defense calls Thunderclap, the offense is toast. Oh, did he ever get zapped? Reminds me, you ever hear that Zappa song, Watch Out Where the Huskies Go? Don't you eat that yellow snow? When I was a kid, I always ate the yellow snow. They were like lemon snow cones. But them fudge ice cream sandwiches, eh, they didn't taste so good. Hot, hot one. Sure, now he catches it. I had this guy on my fantasy team last week. I lost so much money on him, not to mention my kneecaps. My loan shark is very anal about collecting my money on time, Grim. And it's first and ten. Hot, hot one, hot two, hot three. And he pounds the ball into the defense, picking up seven. Second and three. Hot, hot one, hot two, hot, hot three. Oh, and did he just put on a display there? Touchdown! <laughs> and here comes the extra point attempt. They need a good return here to set up the offense. And that's a returnable ball. Returnable? You mean he can get a refund for it? No, no, Bricks. It means he can return it for... You know what? Never mind. And it's first and ten. almost intercepted. Second down and ten. Third down and long. and watch his confidence take off. He is deadly in the open field, Bricks. And it's first and ten. That's a four-yard gain. Second down and six. somehow and hold on for the first down. This guy has a nice set of hands, Grim. It's the third set of hands he's had so long today. Looks like it's a good fit. And he put on the afterburners after that catch and scored. Nice. Ah, that's not fair. So much you call a penalty on this rap. Yeah, that penalty can take a bite of nuts. Don't even get out of it. down and long and they've had enough the offense jumps on sides and attacks the ref first down in a mile Okay, nice and easy like
like a two-foot putt. You miss two-foot putts all the time, Grim. Straight through the uprights. The teams are lined up for the kickoff. He's going to be able to run this one back. I wonder if the kicker was setting up an easy kill. And it's first and ten. run there for eight yards. And this game is up for grabs. Second down and two. First and ten. That's about a three yard pickup. Second down and seven. Look out, that's an all out attack on the QB. It's only chance. And on some leagues, you aren't even allowed to touch the QB. In the NFL, yeah. they have plays just for killing them. <laughs> that's what I'm talking about. First and ten. How do you miss a bomb kill right in someone's face? This your first time playing the game? Hey, you with the controller in your hand. I'm talking to you. Second down and ten. <laughs> and he runs it for four yards. Third down and six. And they just popped his eyes in the back of his head. That quarterback's going to be hurting. Or dead. Or worse. And out comes the most underrated position in football. The mighty punter. Punter gets paid way too much to kick. They just let that one drop and play it safe, and the defense says, we'll take it. And it's first and ten. How did he screw that up? No one died. Bombs don't kill mutants, Grim. Mutants kill mutants. Second down and ten. up about six on the play third and four and that's a nice run for a first down and it's first and ten Blasted and picks up seven yards right there. Second and three. He had nowhere to go and got nothing out of it. Third and two. Sleep permanently. You snooze, you lose. Unless 
sure the sleeping contest. And it's first and ten. And that's a pass that went nowhere. Oh, that's like me at the hotel bar every night. Hey, maybe you need a better opening line than you want to see the teeth thrown out of the roof of my mouth. What? The book How to Pick Up Girls and Tell Them Something Unique About Yourself. That's unique. And the defense calls the thunderclap dirty trick. Man, that's got to hurt. Gonna make the hair on your corpse stand straight up. First and ten. And the quarterback is down. Zoom in on his face. I want to see if the little bastard's crying. You want to do some better than time. Second down in a very lot. managed to dig out a yard on that one. Not my yard. Got too much buried in, you know, the usual money, bodies, coffee cans filled with, well, uh, you know, mostly coffee. Tastes better, like guess, both burying salmon heads, kimchi. I'm not in anything really tastes good. And there's a huge gain, and this offense is rolling. Margaret, that was a pass play. Rolling plays are in bowling. Most kickers should be able to make this one. But will this kicker make it? Find out next time on NFL Game Day. Uh, MFL isn't episodic, Brick. Well, surprise me, he made it look easy and he gets three points for it. The home team is feeling confident as they get the kickoff into the air. Scoring makes anyone confident. It certainly does, Bricks. It certainly does. High five! First and ten. Offense says it's time to put the ref out of his misery. First down and forever. Take all you mutants out. That's right. What you talking about? And they take their first time out. Well, how predictable. Surprise us next time. Call the time out there in halftime. And it's first and ten. <laughs> oh, he almost broke that one wide open. Hey, speaking of breaking one wide open. Who's sitting on the oil rig about them? Well, that's two timeouts burned. And you have to wonder, Bricks, are they desperate or are they in control? Yeah, I'm speaking from experience, Quinn. But it really is hard to do both at the same time. And I have mastered it. Oh, devastating hit. You ever get hit that hard, Bricks? Yep. First raid. That's it. That's their last timeout. It's them against the other team and the clock. Well, that doesn't seem fair. In a hurry-up offense, there is no huddle, so neither team can put their players on the bench. Three-yard catch on the play. Every little bit counts. Those three yarders might grow up to be somebody one day. Third down and nine. If that hit didn't cripple him, it certainly left skid marks. If they don't pick it up here, they are giving a gift to the defense. That play was like the offense was playing rock, paper, scissors, and the defense was playing rocket launcher. And now the defense has the ball because they came to play. 
He was stuffed at the line of scrimmage. So is that cheerleader. Second down and ten. The second quarter comes to a close as the teams head for the locker room, and we take you to halftime. Brought to you by Monsatan Industries. We make genetically engineered food that is to die for. It's the start of the third quarter, and we are set to go, Bricks. Oh, boy! Where we going, Grim? A carnival? Huh? I'm going to go to a striptease show. Where we going? Hey, why don't you sell down just pet your rabbit, Lenny? Just pet your rabbit. Hey, you see that move, baby? No, you didn't. You know why? I'm too fast for it. I'm the greatest. The greatest, I tell you. <laughs> They're looking for a good return after giving up points. Let's see how they do. Yeah, let's see if they always suck or if that was just a one-time thing. Seriously, man, you think you can go toe-to-toe -to -toe with me? I will wreck your world. You understand me, Junior? I'll wreck your world. Second down and more than the QB would like. And he's able to grab that one somehow and hold on for the first down. This guy has a nice set of hands, Grim. It's the third set of hands he's had so long today. Looks like it's a good fit. Much like my wedding night, there was a big explosion, but then everyone left disappointed. Everyone? You had more than two people in the room? Yeah, the guy filming and the clown. Somebody's got to make the balloon animals. Taking what the defense has given them. And that's a four-yard gain on the reception. Hey, less than a wipe for the headache. Third down and six. That's the way to keep the chains moving. That was beautiful. First down and nine. And picks up maybe a deuce at most. Uh, speaking of deuces, I gotta, uh... <clears throat> hey, you got a dollar for the bathroom attendant? He threatened me if I didn't tip him next time. Footsteps and took his eye off the ball. What a pick ahead. Get the ball, asshole. Hey, asshole, up here. Talking to you. They are going for it, and the defense is licking their mutant lips. for a touchdown. Well, it's all fun and games until he tries break dancing. Yep, but Skelton's it's always more literal. <laughs> well, this should be an easy chip shot. Defense says enough of this BS and jumps off sides to lay waste to the referee. Way to go, guys. Don't make any mistakes here, or they'll kick the shit out of you in the locker room. The kick is good! As expected, those are pretty much just gimmies. Here comes the 
Great kicker. Oh, I can't wait to hear this. What's the kicker, Grim? Uh, this guy in the field. Oh, I thought you were going to tell me a story like, here's the kicker. When I turned on the light, it wasn't a broad in my bed. It was a chick wearing a wig. And it's first and ten. They run it for a yard. Second down and nine. This guy's a brick shithouse. You ever get hit in the head with a boat all grim? Nope. Well, I have on several occasions. Not surprising. Multiple times on each occasion. Not surprising. And trust me, that hit was worse. And it's first and ten. That's a six-yard gain. And that'll be second down and four. He caught it, and nothing was going to stop him from getting into the end zone. Except maybe self-doubt, but he seems to have worked through it. Don't try to get fancy here. Just put the ball down and kick it. In that order, Grim? It's good. When you give up points, you need to get them back. Here comes the kickoff. Let's see if they can make them pay. Saw bricks. Okay, he just ran into a buzzsaw. Second down and ten. Oh, what the brutal hit! And that'll bring up third down and seven. Oh, with the brain scrambler. And it's first and ten. Hot, hot one, hot two. the line and he gets his bell rung for a yard. Second down and nine. And he laterals the ball. Man, these guys like playing. And he'll pick up seven yards on that play. Third and two. Hot. Hot one. Hot two. Crusher right there, folks. First and two. And he runs it in for the touchdown. Hey, hey, Grim, you ever dance with the devil in the pale moonlight? Uh, this isn't the devil brick, just one of them. Oh, that don't make it any less scary. And they line up for the extra point. It goes right through. Yeah, like a double step burrito from Taco Hell. Here comes.
comes the kickoff. Let's see if the defense can hold them. Looks like he'll be able to run this one back if he's not terrified for his life. He is, but he's got no choice. The teams have kept each other at bay for now, but there's still plenty of time to bribe refs and kill the other team's star players, so it's anyone's game, really, Bricks. And it's first and ten. First down. And it's first and ten. That's the way to move the chains. That's good for a first down. This game is all about momentum and killing. And it's first and ten. Tired of the quarterback's tight spirals and magnetic. If this guy could talk before he died, what do you think he'd be saying, Bricks? Psycho killer! Just can say, what the fuck, 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 fuck! And it's first and ten. Don't want to make any mistakes here. Just kick the ball through the upright, for God's sake. The kick is good. As expected, those are pretty much just gimmies. The home crowd isn't impressed with that showing, but their team has a chance to respond. First and ten. Oh, with a punishing hit. And that'll bring up second and one. Prince to the new line. That's a first down. And it's first and ten. Oh, and the quarterback threads the needle for a first down. And it's first and ten. Picks up maybe four on that play. Second down and six. You know, all the guys talk about stepping up their game, Bricks. He just stepped up and... And the offense has only two running backs left and the defense is licking their lips. And it's first and ten. Second down and a lot. One speed engage. He could go all the way. Can't tell if this is a seizure or a celebration. <laughs> Either way, the fans are loving it. And here comes the extra point attempt. Oh, 
straight through the uprights. The teams are lined up for the kickoff. He sets up for the return. Let's see if he can break one wide open. And it's first and ten. And that's how you shock the monkey. Thunderclap. Catch the ball, get the first down, and don't die. See, it's really a simple game when it comes down to it. And it's first and ten. was ready for that bombs away dirty trick that time second down and ten if you don't hear it coming it'll knock you right on your ass and he reels that one in for a first down to keep the drive alive and it's first and ten Second down and ain't gonna happen, partner. And that's some good old-fashioned downhill running as he picks up nine yards on the play. Third down and, well, good luck. Two minutes left in the game. Thank God, I gotta take a wicked dump. Feel like I'm sitting on a wax candle. Not on my shoulder, you know. Third down and the punter is warming up. target more often and they quickly call a timeout to stop the clock first down and three Now, there are some who would argue that we should just skip this step and make touchdowns worth seven. What, and kick the kicker's job in half? They'd just be called sinners then. It's good. When you get knocked down, you got to get right back up and fight. Uh, what about when you get knocked up? What do you do then? Run. First and ten. When the defense calls Thunderclap, the offense is toast. Oh, did he ever get zapped? Reminds me, give me an example song. Watch out where the Huskies go. Don't you eat that yellow snow? When I was a kid, I always ate the yellow snow. They were like lemon snow cones. But them fudge ice cream sandwiches, eh, they didn't taste so good. And it's first and ten. And the defense quickly calls a timeout. They want to get the ball back. First down and nine. And he zips that one in there for a touchdown.
And they line up for the extra point. The kick is good. As expected, those are pretty much just gimmies. When you give up points, you need to get them back. Here comes the kickoff. Let's see if they can make them pay. changes the pace by going into a hurry up. Does that mean the defense gets into a hurry up too? Can I kill him? And that's the way you play a guy. Nice coverage. The offense wants to speed things up so it signals a hurry up. Yeah, same as Britch's ex-girlfriend signaled when they were doing it. Yeah, she called it rabbit sex. I took it as a compliment. Oh, sure, now he catches it. I had this guy on my fantasy team last week. I lost so much money. The quarterback is controlling the clock like the clock is into it. I know I am. When in a hurry-up offense, the offense needs to run out of bounds or take a timeout to stop the clock. somehow and hold on for the first down. This guy the Panzers got rolled over by the opposition and chuck up a loss. They battled hard but still got their butts handed to them. Gross. I hope there weren't any old butts involved. I kind of like our butts, especially with some Michelin mustard and a smoked pickle relish. Not bad living. Let's go down to the field and see what the game's MVP thinks of today's outcome. Hey, man, I was hanging on the now. You know what <laughs> Once again, the folks at Evil SN thank our viewing audience and the Mutant Football League for allowing us to telecast this sports presentation. This is Grim Blitzrow with Brickhead Mulligan and Bricks Jr. signing off. Today's final game stats are brought to you by the Micro Heart Corporation. They get it right every other...